Missiles aren't rockets. What is the difference? Oh. Trying to drop oh, aliens. Ah! An alien ship is outside. Please save us. Save us! We Rockets are unguided. Enemies? Oh, Civilians okay. Evacuate themselves. Focus on killing the aliens. You can open up. Thank you. Damn. I miss. Well, that's operation? fine. Citizens are still evacuating. Suppress the aliens in this uh. area. <laughs> Okay, I should probably switch to machine gun for this. I love you guys. As now run. But the civilians are. I don't forget your mission. Wiping out the aliens is our priority. I do way more damage with the machine gun against the combat area. against the frags. Hello, frag. Alien landing ships confirmed. Eat my stork. Oh, there's still one left alive. That didn't kill it. That was one hell of a rocket and it didn't kill it. I'm disappointed. It's still not dead. Heavily disarmed, though. But didn't kill it. Wow. Tough suckers. Yeah, I'll stick with the machine gun against these guys. The Goliath really is my anti... Uh, ooh. The Goliath really is my anti-ant gun. <laughs> We gotta get we gotta get some upgrades on it, I think, before it's good. I like the upgrade system. I actually wish it was more consistent. Uh, like, almost if every weapon had an EXP bar, and the more you used it, the more it would rank up, or if you could even allocate upgrades. Oh, how rad would that be? Uh, if you could actually if you could actually like direct the upgrades. So, hey, this gun has a ridiculously long reload speed. Let's fix that, uh, and specifically allocate points towards that. Or, hey, this weapon does butts damage, but it's pretty good otherwise. Let's fix that. Excuse me, how's it going? No, stop, stop shooting me. Give me that arm, give me that leg. Give me that arm, give me that leg. I don't even know what I'm shooting at this point. I have that arm, thank you. This is an effective stork. Just entered the combat area. Oh, you are still alive. Not for log. <laughs> I love this game. I will for forever love the EDF series. I'm not actually sure if they're gonna pay me for this sponsored series, which is gonna be conflicting, but whatever. Our opponents are carrying firearms! Not just carrying them, they've opened fire! With a new type of weapon! Oh! Is that a red frog? So there's red frogs with like a shotgun kind of situation. Okay, he did. Make sure that red frog doesn't get back up though. Of culture, language, and skin color to build the society we have today. Now it is time to overcome the barriers between planets. We have learned from our history that nothing is impossible. How do we resolve the conflicts with our neighbors? Do we use guns and bombs? No. That is not how it should be done. We engage in dialogue. That is the only way to resolve conflicts. This time, we can certainly resolve our issues through dialogue as well. Okay, so I might want to use a little bit more range or, like, some cover here. Maybe. Some civilians are trying to negotiate with the aliens. Damn it! I really hate how- people expect dialogues. That's not what we're seeing on the scene. No big deal. Remember your training. Be brave. Yes, I really hate how the NPCs will just, uh, randomly just like swerve into you during some of these. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more firepower seems to do the trick here sometimes. 
is why I like the machine guns and why I don't like to recruit these guys. Oh, that was it. That was quick. No, my stuff! Damn it! We barely got anything. This is all on the ground. They really need to give you a little bit more time. All right. Well, that's fine. Reinvasion. The enemy attacked the city. We defeated them after a fierce battle, but the city was left in ruins. Our troops were worn out, so the garrison had to retreat temporarily. However, the aliens are on the verge of mounting another attack. All units can that can head out uh, can fight. Head out and engage. I'm amused that they're actually giving uh, catering to the peace faction in, in this EDF game. Because they weren't at all in the previous one. Enemy! Drones too! Damn! We aren't strong enough to put up a fight! Remember what I told you yesterday? Sounds good. Don't die! Stay alive! Leave it to me. Hold your fire until they get in range. I'll take care of this. Oh, so we've got some we got some flyers as well. Okay. I was expecting more frauds. How's the negotiations? All negotiations have failed. It's not that we can't express ourselves, it's that they never wanted to talk in the first place. So it's only us thinking that we're both humanoids. They seem to see us as pests. Still, we have to keep trying to negotiate. I love bullet hosing. It is satisfying. And effective, too. Now hopefully we get a new grenade launcher soon. I like the Goliath, but ultimately I think I'd rather have a machine gun for uh, range hits and like really beefy grenade launcher for group clearing. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, thank you Modmaker for the three month resub. Dialogue this. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I am very focused on this game. Uh, EDF is one of my favorite series of all times. Uh, all time? I don't know. I think it's all time, not all times. There's only one time. There's all time. I, I don't know. But yes. Easily distracted while playing this game. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we should probably go back and grab the bits before we do too much. Okay. Uh, let's go back, grab what we can. I'm glad I didn't go with uh, with face cam for the rest of the series. I honestly, any game that requires a controller, uh, I feel like using face cam is kind of awkward for me because I like to slowly move back and slouch in my chair, and it uh, not conducive for one thing versus the other. Okay, got anything else here? Just armor. Not a whole lot of weapon drops here. You know nothing, absolutely nothing about this series. Shame! It's real good. It's, I mean, it's effectively aliens have invaded the world and are uh, currently blasting the heck out of humanity and humanity is trying very, very hard to sabotage themselves and their chances of success by being utter, utter knobs. Let's try and talk to them. Peace will last. And the whole like radio message is about like making peace with the aliens that are currently just killing everybody. It's like, I think after a certain point you can just kind of write it off and be like, mm, um, I don't know about this one. I don't, supposedly there's an enemy. Oh, there's you. Overkill. What? Oh, flyer. Get back. Nope. But yeah, it's pretty similar to them. I want to say that's probably the base inspiration for for this series. Either them or Starship Troopers, which probably dates back to them as well. Oh god, red ants. I really wish I could turn off chatter. It is awful. You're good! You're good! You're good! Ah! Oh well. 
Let's see. I bet from the alien perspective, the aliens view he was both the only competent human and the most deadly to them. Oh yeah. I I wanna I wanna play more games like that where the cutscenes are almost entirely from the enemy side. And it's just them being like utterly scared shitless of the protagonist. You know, like, okay, we need to take this planet or our race dies, but beware this one dude. I don't know what it is about him. He blends right in with the rest, except for his colors are slightly different. And good god, is he scary. Where's the reinforcement? It's the enemy! The situation is so despairing! I... there was... I, I've talked about this a couple of times, but there was a... a quest line at the end of Guild Wars 1 that recognizes, you know... Like, all of the, uh... All of the supporting villains and stuff. Uh, supporting villains? All of the villains, like the, the B-listers. You know, the ones that were still alive because they, were, they weren't, like, directly killed. Just defeated. Uh, they were all, like... Hold your ground. Attack them once they're in range! They were all meeting up to, uh, to, like, plan something, something dastardly, I don't really remember. Uh, and your character gets to, like, infiltrate in disguise, and they're all complaining about the protagonist. I thought that was beautiful. I wanted to, I want to see more series that kind of do that sort of thing. Where the, uh, it's self-aware of, like, how, how problematic the protagonist is in, like, a more... It's not just like, curse you for foiling my plot ever over and over again, but it's just like the you are seriously like a, a problem for us and we can't deal with it. I don't know. I need to I need to read and play more more meta things. Because I really enjoy it. I liked uh I liked Under Hero. Under Hero did it really well. But Wander Song did it kind of well-ish. Because there was the whole dialogue of like you know, is the hero the actual hero? Are they the good guy? So on and so forth. So it was less of a, like, the hero uh, is this, like, ridiculous existence, but, like, the hero is actually the true bad guy of the entire series. And some other stuff about, like, prophecies and whatnot. And it was well handled. I don't know. I like that game. Out of the skies. This, gu this gun setup is real effective. Let's see, is it hard to hear Wander over the chatter, or is it just you? I can turn it down. Oh good, there's a UFO stuck out there, probably. But yeah, unfortunately the, uh, the unit shatter, I can't turn it off. And I could turn it down, but it's going to make the uh, the actual plot stuff really hard to hear. The enemy is nearby. Yes, sir. There's no winning with this. I'll turn it down a little bit. That's probably yeah. I guess it's a little bit higher than it used to be. <sighs> but yeah, it's straight up no easy way for me to to properly do this. If I could, if I could just turn off random unit chatter, I would in a heartbeat. Looks like the fight will be violent. Okay. It looks like it's mostly just. What is the yellow thing over here? <gasps> what? Why? What? <laughs> Why is this a thing? I. Why not? Take! Oh, I got it. You just witnessed and survived from hell, newbie. Come back for some rest. It is God for good. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Okay, that does a lot of damage. I should probably avoid that. All right, so we got some upgrades there. Hybrid protector, uh, anti-aircraft impulse, grenade launcher, UMJ, MG12. So this is the whoa. This is pallet. Uh, PAL 11 that I was using. Looks like it just got better than the Stork. Hmm. I like this, I like the idea of this gun, the MLRA, but it only does 32 damage per shot, which is kind of rough. Oh, that's a grenade. Grenade launcher, UMJ, oh, this is the one with the detonation time, nah. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh! Hybrid protect Protector has walking speed, dash speed, and obstacle destruction during dash. That's good. That's really good. So let's switch away from this. Go down to this. So now, now I'm even... I, I'm fast and can destroy things that I run through. That's nice. So how, how hammy is the plot for this game? It, uh, is pretty hammy. Like... It's pretty hammy. <laughs> Alright, uh, right. We're gonna switch away from the Stork. Because I think the PAL-11 is a little bit better at this point. Oh, that's a toughie. It's about the same. No, actually, the Stork is, Stork is good. The main thing is the reload time, but I don't really need to worry about that. They both last, like, a fair while. Well, do we try... I'm not sure if I want to try Volatile Napalm. We've tried that. Yeah, I'll stick with the Goliath for the time being. Okay, Artillery Unit. Oh, maybe not. It was the alien artillery unit that damaged the city in the past, in the past battles. They're equipped with long-range weapons that can discharge artillery shells parabolically and destroy the targets regardless of the distance. Most of our units were destroyed by the artillery fire and the city was damaged severely. If we don't eliminate them now, we'll be put into a more difficult position. It's a risk worth taking. We will dispatch our infantry to assault the enemy artillery unit and eliminate them within a very close range. Get prepared. All right, let's change equipment. Yeah, honestly, I'm not even using the Goliath for what I'd like to use it for. So let's just do Burst Sniper Rifle, see if I can take him out at range. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. The enemy artillery unit is straight ahead! Teams that have closed in on the artillery, attack now. I forgot. This gun is garbage. Well then, when in doubt, when nothing else works, uh, maximum stork. Defeat the artillery unit at all cost. As long as they exist, we can't win the ground warfare. So they're the alien artillery Whoa. unit. They have some badass weapons. You know what I've got? The enemy weapons may be powerful. Fast. Long range support. We have a chance if we can get real close. Move in. Attack the artillery unit. We're almost in the enemy's range. You can't. Yup. Yeah. Oh, that was close. You can't catch me. I'm late, too fast. No to Approach the artillery unit and take out as many as possible. That makes Sonic the Hedgehog look. Fast. Not that fast. Except for if we're talking about the movie. That movie looks this real bad. The Admittedly, enemy. I only have, like, an image to the work off of, but... Us. Oh. Run. We'll get blown away. Artillery fire incoming. Yeah, they haven't really hurt me yet. I guess I got hit, like, once. It could have been way worse than this, though. All right, let's leave that last guy alive. I'm going to grab some stuff. Ready for battle. I got to get the thing that makes it so my pickup range is even larger, too. If I can jam that, if if I can get that on top of my hybrid protector, I think I'll be in a really good spot for just grabbing all the loot. 
Ready for battle. Artillery unit incoming. Approach and attack. Sonic X cartoon was pretty garbage in hindsight. It was almost maybe not. No, it wasn't very good. Don't stop attacking! Avoid the artillery fire! Oh god, that is a worrying sight. Just the dude butt butt sliding sideways to maybe shoot at me. I'll fight for you, Captain. Oh, let's see. Wait, Sonic movie? Please not let it not be live action. If it's not live action, it's like 3D and like awkward 3D. That arm? Ow. Thank you very much. Be neat if I could shoot those projectiles out of the sky or something. Enemy landing ships confirmed. Oh. Oh, good. That loot has fallen down. That is good. That is that is what I need. But yeah, I, I'm not betting on the new Sonic movie to be good. Uh, I'm not betting on it being good, to be totally honest. I get the very distinct feeling it is going to be hot garbage. I have the same, uh, I have the same fears about, uh, the Monster Hunter movie. Ow. If only because, uh, they're doing, like, some real-world aspect. They plan to drop aliens. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure how you would do a good Monster Hunter movie. I can't imagine it would be that hard. I'm just not sure if it would be that watchable to like... Yeah, I don't know if it'd be that watchable and I don't... I don't know. Video game movie adaptions are almost always just Hella bad. Alpha has arrived. Let's stay here. Support the units in combat. Understood. But I, I don't know. I hold reservations of, as to every video game adaption movie ever. I mean, we saw the uh, the Doom movie recently, and it was, oh, it was bad. It was, it was vaguely watchable, but compared to. Compared to most movies, ugh, ugh. D and D movies were half decent. I didn't like them that much. Let's see, person directing the Monster Hunter movie is a fan of the series. I, yeah, it might not mean much. I mean, they had like real world, like current Earth stuff, and like Marines with weapons and. Was it Mila Jovovich or whatever her name is, the lady from the Resident Evil movies? When she's in a movie, I usually assume it's going to be kind of um not fan servicey. What is it? Mary Sueish, I guess would be the answer. I don't know. I don't have a high opinion of the Res Resident Evil mo movies. Whoa, hi, hello. What are you doing here? Get out, don't step on me. Artillery unit has been eliminated. Can we can win this. Okay, I think there's a little bit more over here. There's some item up on the building, but I don't think I'm getting to it. Give me my stuff. Sweet biz. Okay, so we get emerald, and we're getting a lot of new guns for the wing diver and stuff, which is actually kind of nice. So it's the emerald. Eh, it's not great. Destroyer blaster. Some of these look kind of fun. Let's see. Has there ever been a very good video game movie? Uh, if you count it, Wreck-It Ralph was amazing. But... Except for the Warcraft movie. I didn't like the Warcraft movie. Final Fantasy Advent Children was... Okay? It, the problem is both of them were good eye candy, but like when you put them, uh, when you actually like try and talk about them as 
movies with plots and stuff, nah, neither were particularly great. You know, let's give the Emerald a go. What are we even up against on this mission? Confirmed a large number of aggressive alien species beta. Although they're a completely evacuated area, it's only a few kilometers from the city. We must eliminate the enemy right there. The monster extermination team has been sent to the scene. They'll destroy the enemy with rifles from range. Link up with the extermination team and offer support. So, charge at enemies, just wreck them. Warcraft movie was made for players of Warcraft and not much other. Except for it was weird. And we're getting Detective Pikachu. I do not have a whole lot of confidence in Detective Pikachu. I, it would have been so much better if it was... Ready. I don't even know. We're the best insect extermination <sighs> team. Show them what the blue jackets are made of. Sir, yes, yes, sir. I don't I don't even know. Don't get close to the enemy. Shoot them. It goes we in the show live action is terrible. Yeah, well, a lot of a lot of the live action anime adaptions are never no very good. Against the blue jackets. There's an alien leading the monsters. So the alien is a leader. Stay away from the aliens. You'll be in trouble if they get too close. Attack their feet to slow them down. Just finish the monsters before they approach. There is no need to fear. Sniper, the most fearsome enemy. Stay the stay away from them, you say. Charge! There's so many of them. I feel like I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. What? 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 There are too many. We can't One of them just said they feel like Napoleon. And his victory in Austerlitz. Somebody want to look that up? Did he have a victory in Austerlitz? Because that sounds wrong. Oh god, I'm getting webbed hard. Okay, so maybe keeping, uh, getting close to them was maybe not the right idea. Alternatively, they're dying. I am very effective when I start shooting and turning in a, in a slow circle. This gun is pretty good. Okay, this gun is pretty good. Got the HP. And kill the rest of them. Well, this looks like a good mission for weapon grinding, maybe. One way or another, I don't think I would, uh... I would willingly say I, I am comparable to Napoleon. He was actually a pretty decent general. I mean, all things considered, he did great up until Russia, generally. Hmm. That was considered Napoleon's greatest victory. I don't actually... I, I know a decent amount about Napoleon, but I don't know jack all about the names or dates. Which is funny, because that was the thing that they... Um, like, that was the thing that uh, my school tried to jam into my, our heads the most. It's like, hey, you know what's important? Names and dates. And I'm like, who are these people? Why do I care about them? Names and dates. And it's like, no, 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 no. Why? <laughs> why Why did Napoleon... I, I still don't actually really know why Napoleon uh, was conquering all these places. I should probably look it up at some point. I just know that he did. Oh god. Are all the snipers dead? They're dying. Well, I guess we could switch to the emerald and just kind of pile some shots in there. Hey, thank you, Kikar TF, uh, TFTD, for the nine month resub. Throw him some uh, some sweet bell sprouts. I really like that bell sprout emote. I gotta make some more uh, emotes soon. I just haven't had the time. I, like, managed to to jam out a really quick, uh, what is it, kingdom thumbnail earlier this week. And I want to make a really sweet thumbnail for my, my EDF 5 series. I just haven't had time. Yeah, this emerald is actually a really good gun. My main problem is just, like, it's a little slower than the stork. But if I'm gonna, like, do some serious damage to somebody at a distance, it's not a bad choice. Main problem is when you get into close range, almost every gun outside of a machine gun 
becomes garbage. Somebody was giving me shit because I don't do air raider, and I was like, I I just the moment you get swarmed with an air raider, everything goes to hell unless you've got a good vehicle for it. They're like I just snipe things from afar, and I'm like, how do you manage to do that in this series? I guess if you don't have to pick anything up, it might be a little bit easier. But for me, I don't think I could do it. I don't even know if I'm hitting enemies here. I'm just turning and shooting. It's working, actually. I love shooting spiders out of the air. It's real satisfying. You may dodge, but you may never avoid my gunfire. It is eternal. I wonder if there's a homing homing assault rifle in this game. Because if so, that would be amazing. It probably does crap damage. It's probably one of those where like, you shoot a billion bullets and they'll whiz straight into the, the person you're shooting at. And it does nothing to them. And yep, all those snipers are dead. Do you feel like Napoleon now? You should, because he's dead. Seriously, this uh, this gun's got some range. I mean, it's pretty bad accuracy at this distance. It's got some range. Oh right, leave him alive. He is literally the last guy I'm supposed to fight. He'll just kind of yell angrily in the back for a while. I'm so glad that they added the uh, support equipment in this game. It is so much nicer being able to, like, kind of build your character the way you want it to. You know, so I like to go with uh, speedrunner style loadouts just to get around. It works! Really well, too. Let's see, is that a weapon box? No weapon box. Wait. There's a vehicle. This is more important than fighting this guy. <gasps> yes. Yes. Raw heroism! Like how you just straight up run through barriers without breaking a stride. Yeah. Victory or death! Oh, he's like forgotten about me? I think he's forgotten about me. Bonsai! Oh. Wow. Wait, hold on. Does he just... Is he just not aware? Or is he afraid? Well, oh well. Survivor confirmed. It's you again. I uh, take me somewhere safe. Can you imagine Rico from Just Cause in this setting? That could be cool. Okay, so, ooh, we got a tank. Oh, we got the blacker, though. The blacker isn't great. Uh, that's the tank we were using on Air Raider earlier. So we got the Stampede, the blacker, Slaughter's uh, GNM 21S. That's a new one. I haven't heard of. And more. And yeah, we're actually getting a decent amount of guns for some of the other classes, too. So semi out of rifle with outstanding destructive power. And fire the special large AP bullets. With the uniqueness of the bullets, this weapon is designed semi-auto. Interesting. I'll have to try this. Cause I like I like guns that do semi-auto. It's got good range too. It might be a better alternative to the sniper rifle. Though it looks like the range is kinda bad. So the slaughter does more damage, that's not 
bad. The main problem is that reload time is still kind of painful. Stampede. Multi-barreled grenade launcher. Oh, it's a cluster grenade launcher. That's not bad. I'll have to try that. And we got the blacker. Re-request takes a while. And a bunch of things for that. And this is part of the reason why I don't play Fencer, because good god, that's a lot of stuff to immediately look at and parse. It's actually probably not that complicated, but still. Okay, class equipment. Ranger. So let's let's try the new guns. Let's, let's try the... Oh. So the GNM is actually worse than the one I picked up. Why didn't I find that earlier? Uh, I'll keep it the stork. I want to try that new... Uh, oh. I want to try that new grenade launcher. That's really what I'm here for. Stampede. That looks really cool. 